Hi everyone, welcome to March Favorites. I have a lot of favorites to get through, so let's jump right in. The first thing is these Revolution palettes. I returned the Itsy C cream that Santa brought me for Christmas, and I posted on Instagram that I got three palettes, and what it was was I returned it and I didn't buy anything. I was being good. I'm on a no buy. And Mark went by Ulta and grabbed three Revolution palettes. He didn't grab these three. I traded the neutrals for neutrals for this one. It, the neutrals for neutrals just didn't work. These three I love. The Revolution, um, this is the Ultra Contour Palette. It's comparable to the Kat Von D Shade and Light. This is Light and Shade. Sabrina did a look on with this and she couldn't tell the difference. I love this. I am not a matte girl. Like I like at least some shimmer on the lid or somewhere. I am in love with this. It is absolutely gorgeous. And then the Sofax is not one I would have picked out for myself. I don't know what prompted Mark to pick it. And yet I absolutely love the colors in this. It gets me out of my comfort zone without being too wild. Even the purple in here is not over the top. It is gorgeous. And then this chocolate elixir palette to me is very similar to a couple of different ones, whether you say it's the Naked Heat or Modern Renaissance or different ones like that. It has the reds, it has the oranges, it has the browns, all the colors that I love. And the formula in all three of these is absolutely beautiful. I took these to Maui with me and loved them. They are beautiful. Now I have been good and I'm still using my makeup palette and I'm really excited about my makeup use up because you're going to see I have made serious progress. I am so proud of myself, but that's for another video. This is the Suave Firm Control number four. My girl Kathy from Kathy's Beauty Care Chats. She has gorgeous, full, big Texas hair. And I love her hair. And she showed this. And I always am a Tresemme fan. I'm a new convert. I will buy this over the Tresemme. They're probably a similar price point, I'm guessing. I don't know. But I love the smell. I love the hold. I love the finish. Everything about this is fabulous. The third favorite is not a makeup item. It is Alexa. I told you about the Alexa show that Santa brought for Christmas. Well, Santa then got a whole bunch more dots, spots, you name it. We have, I think, seven of them around the house. The dots are great. We grab one whenever we travel and it's fabulous for throwing in the suitcase. We took it to Maui. We always have speakers like a jam box or something with us. So that fixes the fact that it doesn't have great speakers. We can play music. We can set alarms. We can ask the weather. We can put things on our list. It's very convenient. The show I love in the kitchen because then you can do the recipes. What I actually really like is the spot. This has replaced my bedside clock alarm. It's so cute having the little face and the clock. I set alarms for the morning and it start, starts off very gradual and gradually increases. At night, I listen to, on Pandora, my massage spa radio station, and then I'll tell her to shut off. I say set a sleep timer for 20 minutes. So I can sit there reading for 10 minutes, stop reading, and the music keeps playing and it turns off sometime after I'm already asleep. And it's fantastic. We just really enjoy the convenience. I'm a multitasker and it makes it easy. So when I'm opening the fridge, I can say, Alexa, put milk on the shopping list or on the Trader Joe's list or whatever I want. It just makes life so convenient. We are definite Alexa fans. The first thing I've been appreciating was Maui. Loved it. How could you not? It was just amazing. Now, Maui in March, we hit it at a particularly cold time and it was rainy. It's still, you can't complain about being on vacation in Maui in March. And we had amazing time. We napped. I never napped. It was so decadent to nap. Looking out at those views, we went for walks, we went for hikes. We prefer Maui in September when it's warmer and I'm so lucky. I'm going twice this year. So uh, we go every day to the beach normally. I think we only went three days this trip. But still, I got lots of reading done and just relaxing and unplugging. I truly unplug from work. I never do that. I don't know. I just 
didn't get motivated to even look at it. And I didn't pay too bad when I got back. So that was fantastic. The other thing that I took to Maui that I want to mention is reusing containers. Motorcycle, sorry. This is a old container that I had and I do my DIY vitamin C serum and it has the dropper that you squeeze out. I reuse, if they, I have a big container, I like having, the ordinary got me onto having all containers this size, so I reuse those, maybe refill it with a big toner or whatever you have, and then you can label them, which I haven't, I'm going to need to because you will forget, trust me. Um, the other thing is, if you take an old foundation bottle, and this is filled up with Sally Hansen airbrush legs, it means you don't have a mess, it's easier to dispense, both for when you travel and for at home. I love reusing bottles, so I just wanted to mention that. And then my final favorite or appreciation is Bob Herzog. I don't know if you've seen him or watched him, he makes me happy. I watch him when I want to laugh, I watch him when I want to have a pick-me-up. He cracks me up, I love this man, <laughs> he's so funny. If anybody doesn't know, I believe he is a Cincinnati morning newscaster and one of his videos went viral where he's doing his makeup. Well, since then he's been doing wake up and makeup on his Facebook page and if I remember, I'll put the links below. For 4.30 in the morning, he is more bubbly than I am at my highlight of my day. I love this guy and what cracks me up the most, not only does he have a lot of funny things where he's using a concealer like a Luke Skywalker's saber sword or whatever those, those are called and his violent blending when he's doing his makeup but what really cracks me up is when he gets on the news and he's all professional and he's doing his news stick and then he turns over to us and he's talking to us <laughs> and it's just, he is just a delight I I don't know like I said he just makes me happy makes me laugh and I love positive things so I wanted to share him with you and hopefully he'll brighten your day as much as he does for me I am still knitting on the sweater that will never be finished. No, not quite. I'm making a lot of progress on it and I will get back to it. But in Maui, I didn't want to take a big thing. So I did washcloths. I give these as baby gifts along with the afghans. And I'll link my patterns below. I will remember, hopefully, to put patterns for all four of these on there. This brown one is actually my favorite. It's not my favorite color, but I am going to redo it in the blue and then it will be my favorite because I love this blue green color and I love this pattern. So put them together and you'll have magic. I use them also for washing my face and it doesn't really matter what color you use because for that purpose, I bleach them and they end up getting paler and paler until they're white. But any pattern works for either washcloths or baby cloths or a dishcloth, but it's nice to do mindless things. I get a lot of my patterns from the Bar Barbara Walker Treasury of Knitting and you can experiment with them and see what you think of them and then say, oh, that'd make a cute sweat set bleh, sweater or baby afghan or whatever you want to do with them. I will get back to my sweater though. I'm just still on this washcloth kick and probably will stay on it for another month or so. For TV, we're still watching Hell on Wheels. Love it. If you don't know, this is right after the Civil War and it's about trying to do a railroad across America. It is Indians, it is rough and tumble, it is mud. Oh, is there mud? And as somebody else said, a few of you, Cullen, the main character, he's a honey. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's great for men and women. Both Mark and I love it. It's a really entertaining show. Olivia is in the hockey semi-finals with her team and it's the last time she's going to be playing with this team so I'm sure it's very emotional and sentimental for her. She is highly competitive and if I know between this filming and when this video airs how she did I will post an update up here but she's definitely enjoying the hockey and her scholarships that she's applying for right now are hoping to play somewhere where there is hockey. So she's doing well. She has her two-year cancer-free leukemia checkup this month. Keep your fingers crossed that all is good and hopefully she'll continue thriving and I'll be able to keep giving you all fabulous, happy, positive updates. 
So that's my favorites. I hope that you had a phenomenal month. I love hearing your life. Share what was one of your favorite things from this month, whether it's a product, a memory with the family, something you did, whatever. I just love sharing your lives and thank you for sharing your life with me and sharing some of my time with you. I really value it and love our exchange. I hope you have an amazing day and we'll talk to you next time.